Good morning, lovelies. Zoe Chiu here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today, we're not we're not in the crunch time just yet. It's only Monday. We've got until like Friday, 1 p.m. to get this shiny Venonat. That is my goal. Full stop. If you don't want to see just shiny hunting for Venonat all week, you still subscribe because I don't know we'll have other stuff in the future, obviously. But let me tell you how my weekend started. So last thing you guys would have seen was the day that we go plussed that shiny Squirtle. We got the shiny Illamese through research. So I'm feeling like research is my best bet for Venonat, which is the catch three poison type. Uh, after that, the Patreon Eggies, you would have seen this live as it happened. This shiny. I spin me as double resisted and no stab. Ah, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Steph. Appreciate it. Thank you for the battle. That was really, really good. That was close as. Wait, is that a shiny? Yo! Dudes! What? Ah, uh, it's not on an incense. Oh, I just turned off the phone. Oh my god, I want to get the sparkle. Oh, far out. <laughs> I just want to get the sparkle. I mean, it's on the screen. It's on the screen. Ready? Let's do this. Ah! <laughs> there we go. That's sick. What? Let's go. Let's not lose it. Let's not be too overzealous. No way. Okay. That is the Patreon Eggies bringing in the good vibes. Appreciate you guys. Holy dooly. What do we name it? You guys get to name it. So huge shout out to my Patreon Good Eggs for the shiny vibes. That was insanely unexpected at like seven o'clock in the morning. A shiny Charachu. My Go Plus then... Uh, I went out for a little item lap just with the Go Plus on in the bag. Go Plus picked up the shiny Geodude. And then 15 minutes later picked up another shiny Geodude. Okay. And then yesterday, uh, so Sunday, then uh, driving home from doing a, another item lap, checking for Venonat. I pulled over at a cluster spot, saw there was a Chansey. Shiny Chansey. So we can evolve one of my Chanseys though, at least. So we evolve the one from the research because it has better IVs. Uh, we'll evolve one of these up to Blissey today. So at the very least, we'll be getting a new shiny evolution in. And we got the whole family. That was the most unexpected full family completion I could have thought of. We got Hapini during the egg event, uh, Chansey during the egg event, and then now a second Chansey during like pretty much the following event almost. I think it's the fastest I've completed a family, like not inside an actual like go fest or safari or something crazy. So that's crazy lucky. But looking at this, my shiny luck has been insane. Like we can see that since since like com day, my shiny luck has been ridiculous. Like we had the Centret day, that's fine. That was boosted. Abras themselves, they were boosted. But on Abra day, we had the Volbeat from the previous event stacked up. I guess technically Volbeat, Volbeat and Illamese were like a day apart, but they were like caught on different days. The Meowth was like an independent shiny on Abra day. The Poliwag was its own day. The Squirtle was its own day. Charizard, well sorry, Charizard and the two Geodudes, they were just three on one day, which is insane. So I mean, we've been getting kind of a shinier day. Feeling very lucky that I'm in a position that I can, you know, go and do laps and catch stuff. But that means we need to keep it up and our goal for the day is shiny Venonat. So for now, we put the shiny luck in our Go Plus in my bag, I was going to kiss it, in the Go Plus's hands. We hope for the best because we, you know, you don't, don't touch your phone while you're driving. So we're going to go post up and I'm just going to camp out at a spot that has maybe like two lures, put down an incense as well, and then just like hope for these. I, maybe we'll use the grassy lures because they bring in bug types. Let's try, let's compare and contrast, let's see how we go. Okay, not quite at the lure up spot just yet, but we've got uh, some poison type quests to check off here and we're about to drive through a, a nice nest of stops. So I don't want to miss out on picking up potentially some more of these quests. Just hear the Go Plus going off in the background there. Please, please, if you're grabbing Venonats, let them be shiny. Whew, okay, ticked off another quest there and picked up, let's get rid of that while we're there in case the Go Plus keeps going. Ma no. And third one. No. <laughs> of course. Okie dokie. Time to post up and compare and contrast the regular lure and the grassy, the mossy lure. Fingers crossed that that... Let me put you guys down for a second. Fingers crossed that there is kind of a difference. I know that the, uh, the mossy lure does bring in more spawns more frequently. I've definitely seen, uh, you know, poison and grass types coming in off them anyway. But we'll see and compare the vanilla 
lure with the grassy lure, mossy lure. It's another venonat. Oh gosh, I hope it can happen. I've got two quests here at the moment as well for transferring. So let's go recent. Let's just do the, the, the nervous shiny check. No. Do the four star check. No. And let's just transfer a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Okay. Pretty much what I'm doing with these is just stacking up all of the um, Butterfree because they're a third stage evolution. They're going to be a delicious amount of Stardust. And I catch them next week when next week gets the double Stardust bonus. So there's no point really for me catching them during the double XP catch because I don't need the XP. What I need is the Stardust. I'm making sure I'm not overstacking there. Beautiful. Let's put on a... Uh, I'm going to put on an Incense as well. And we'll see how we go. Wish me luck, guys. Let's... And there, there you go, there's a Butterfree. I might actually put a, uh, a star piece on for this. I know that it's not, you know, double Stardust week, but might as well reap the benefits. We're going to be sitting on double lure for 30 minutes. While we're luring up here as well, I might actually claim the... No, no, <laughs> not this. <laughs> claim my... Uh, Kanto Throwback Research, which I finished this morning. I did, honestly, most of it from home, or, um, I mean, most of it was achievable from home. Every time I was like, oh, catch a fire type. There just, there happened to be a fire type in my house when there was, you know, catch an ice type with the previous, you know, objective. I got rewarded with the Lapras, so I just, you know, you know, I could kind of tick them off, uh, within the quest itself sort of thing. Like, it was taking care of itself. Which was good. Uh, let's get this a pineapple. I don't really need more candies for Nidoran, but you never know. You never know. When in Rome. And here it is. The moment of truth. Uh, I probably won't get a shiny. I hope I don't get a shiny. I don't know. Do I want a shiny Mewtwo? I don't know. Save it people don't ha don't have one. Give it to them. Regular Mewtwo. Okay. Uh, 1765. I don't know for this Mewtwo what is going to be good IV. So we're just going to find out as we go, I guess. Oh, almost an excellent. I haven't, I haven't thrown at a Mewtwo on this phone. Oh, there's a Venonat quickly. We'll see if we caught that Mewtwo. Nope. <laughs> Next try. Actually, I kind of... It's kind of tempting to catch it in a Red Ball, isn't it? Have we had... Have we had Mewtwo through... No. Have we had Mewtwo through research? It's always been with a Premier Ball, I think. Kind of want to catch it in a Red Ball. It's going to take way longer, so... BRB. Okay, there we go. Mewtwo in a regular Pokeball. Not bad. Not too bad on the IVs, to be honest. There you go. Go and get them, guys. It's not a very hard research to complete. Uh, it's all, yeah, very achievable. And for the Battle in a Raid one, just honestly, jump in. You don't have to win the raid. There is, like, the Battle in a Raid component. You don't have to win it. You don't even have to, like, do the raid. Just spend, a, spend your free pass on a raid and then just run away from the raid. You don't have to physically do it. Uh, if you're someone who's on lockdown, just drop a free pass when you go do groceries. Like, legit, you don't have to put yourself in harm's way to just waste a pass and not actually do the raid. So if you see one on your grocery run, just chuck, a, chuck the pass in and then go do your groceries. So, yes. Fingers crossed everyone can get chipping away on this research. Holy dooly, stay in the ball. Okay, well, this is the end of the double lures. Uh, my incense is still going for another 30 minutes, but yeah, nothing too crazy and not even that much uh, Venonat, to be honest. I've been seeing, look at this, more Venonat from quests and from the wild, just driving around with the plus on. So I think that's going to be my strat. We, we did the 30 minutes on the lures and it was too much of a mix. It just seems better to go go around and do the quests. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you guys in two seconds when I have some Venonat quests to check off. <sighs> Would you believe that I drove around for an hour, go plus on, pull over, check, go plus on, pull over, check, for like, pff, what, 60 plus? I'd say more than 50, less than 100 pokey stops, and only one of them was a Venonat quest. Goodness gracious, let's check. Uh, no. Dang it. We can still check to see if the Go Plus picked up some spice, though. Let's just see. We'll see. Who knows? But that's rough. I mean, I got really lucky, I guess, at the start, then going into town, getting a few uh, a few quests. But Yikes on the way out. Okay. S-H-I-N. No. Still just the ones from earlier in the week. Oh, boy. Okay. I mean, we caught a lot of stuff today. There's a lot of Venonat in there, and a lot of Venonat seen and caught and 
checked and the plus picked up a lot of stuff. So, whew, we're going to keep these ones snappy, guys, because I'm going to be going out every single day until I get the shiny Venonat. Wish me luck. Let me know in the comments down below, how have you been going for this first bit of the Kanto throwback event? Sending shiny vibes to each and every one of you lovelies as well. Do you guys ever get that vibe as well? Like, you can see how many shinies I've got recently. Like, crazy lucky. Crazy, crazy lucky. And a few of them I really, really wanted. I wanted. I really, really worked hard for quite a lot of them. But then there's ones where it's like the, the two Geo dudes, and you're like, oh, do I... Like, I don't want to be ungrateful, but I really don't need these. Like, do you ever have that conflict as well of, like feeling ungrateful for shinies but you don't want to be ungrateful because it's like it's a shiny but then i can't do anything with it i can't trade it to someone at the moment anyway so it's like mm, what am i doing also i almost forgot we did promise to evolve one of our chances so let me go a happy plus so we've got our little uh happy here i'm not going to evolve this one i mean it's it's the best ivs but it's the hardest one to get it's the baby then this one from the research and then this one from the wild. So I'm thinking we'll probably evolve up the one that's like at least middle of the road IVs to Blissey because at least then maybe it's a bit more chunky, a bit thicker in the gyms. This one's already like leveled up higher though. Eh, uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to do anything with them particularly, you know, anything wild with them. Let's go this one. Uh, Shock Horror. Blissey's shiny is not too dramatic. It's not the biggest change. If you can notice it, I'll give you five dollars because it is honestly split in hairs. It is so insanely close. Look at this. Hello? Shiny wear. It's just slightly desaturated Blissey. It's like Blissey's got mild anemia. Blissey needs some iron tablets. You okay, girl? Like, it is very, very subtle. I think you would see it and you'd be like, is my display bright enough? It is uh, very, very gentle, but we've got it. There it is, the whole family. Look, you can't even tell the difference on this. On this, Oh my gosh, I wanna look at them together. We've got the whole family though. What a weird combo of shinies. I don't know why I didn't stay green, it's weird. Look at that, that is like, can you tell the difference? I mean, you can, but it's like, can you? <laughs> so mild, oh my gosh. The Venonat quest continues. We will get our Moth Boy come hell or high water. We're going to make it happen this week, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming in the morning as well on Twitch. That's kind of how I've been doing the days. Stream in the morning, go out and film in the afternoons. So come over, hang out on Twitch before I go out and go shiny hunting. So it's kind of like afternoon time in the USA. And if this video is up right now, I'm probably live right now. So come hang out. Link's in the description. Have a good time with the squad. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.